we are coming here with the next vlog of the 2021 breeding season. Uh, we will call this CCS Journey to Land attempt number four and meet our Mysteriosa. We have no idea what species this Zoe is because as far as we were aware, we had an Ecuadorian with eggs and a strawberry with eggs and they both still have their eggs. So we don't know what this is, but they spawned it on their own in our saltwater pool. So like, even though this is gonna be a nightmare to clean up and get in the chrysals, it is really heartwarming to know that our crabbies like did everything on their own naturally. So they feel so comfortable in their habitat that they're mating, um, taking care of their eggs, and then actually spawning them correctly in the salt water. So um, we have a lot of them, a lot. And they look bigger than what we're used to seeing and they look really healthy. So- They might just look bigger because there's so many of them. Maybe. Not sure. Anywho, they're eating stuff in here actually like off of the live, this is live sand down here. This is a live rock. And then we have a barnacle. This tank is cycled. It's been up and running since we put our build together. So um, it's filtered, although we turned the filter off as soon as we saw Zoe. Um, we have no idea when this occurred. So, um, I mean, it had to have been last night or this morning, but anyways we found them at about 12 12 this afternoon yeah um and so now we're gonna try and figure out what to do our chrysal is not ready because as you guys know we were making changes to make it a filtered chrysal and so it was not ready we had a few more days for our strawberry we knew and um anyway so now we're going to leave these guys in here for 24 hours while the silicone on the filtered chrysal dries. Um, but we are gonna remove some of these, well, the rocks and everything in here, um, just because we're gonna have to do that eventually anyway. It'll give us um, a better way to monitor them if all this stuff's not in here. So anyway, we um, that that's what we're gonna work on. Our thought is that we're going to take one rock at a time put it in this salt water here, like swish it around, kind of get as many Zoe off of it, and then pipe out all the Zoe that come off of the rock um, back into this tank. So that's that's our plan. That's what we're gonna work on tonight. We didn't film getting all the rocks and stuff out of the pool, but as you can see, they're gone. We, need, we didn't have enough hands for all that, but- It wasn't actually that bad. Yeah, I don't know. We tried to get as many off as we could. We dunked them in the water. We used the turkey baster and like squirted them. So hopefully you guys made as we can, but anyway, now we have to go through here and get them out of this dirty water. We're going to put them in this clean water and then we're going to put them back in here for now because we don't have anywhere else to put them. So here we go. Today is the day that we are going to get them in our chrysal. We worked super hard yesterday at getting our altered chrysal um, complete. So um, I put a lid on this tank last night to keep all the other crabs out. Put some rocks on there so that they wouldn't push the lid out of the way because we do have other crabs that have Zoe. Um, and we just didn't want crabs in here with all of these guys. And so um, we do need to get them out though because we have crabs wanting to get in here. Um, this E is toe dipping back here in the corner. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Anyway, um, and so yeah, that's what we're gonna get started on this morning. But these guys look great. They're still swimming around and um, there's a lot of them. So we're pretty excited about this. And um, the Chrysal now has 
the filter patches are silicone in there and they are, they are dry. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick wipe out just to make sure, I mean it's been sitting here for a few days so I'm just going to wipe it out real quick and um, then we're going to go ahead and get our new filter going and our water in. So I'll catch up with you guys in a minute about the water. Alright guys, so in our last attempt as many of you have followed along, we think that our tap water was a big issue in um, why we were having that algae problem. And so we have installed um, a reverse osmosis system in our kit. Well, we've halfed and halfway installed. This is the faucet that will eventually be installed into the kitchen. But because of the surprise spawn, we haven't gotten that far. But this is working. The RO water is here. And um, so we are, it takes a lot longer. So we're just filling up jugs of the RO. Then we have to pour a little bit in this uh, measuring cup and warm it up because the salt water really dissolves better if it has some warmth. And so we put the salt water in here, we stir it, and then we pour it back into the jug and shake it really well. And then we put it in the crystal. So it's kind of a process, but it's pure water. So we're super excited about this. Baby, baby siphoning gum. The scariest part is getting yeah. them out of here. Look at them. You can probably see them from there. Guys, I don't know. They're big. They seem big. Or there's so many. It's but either there's... You see a cloudy haze? That's Zoe. It's either that they're so big that we can see... Not so big. Like, they're not giant. But they're either uh, that big that we can see them across the room or that there's just that many of them. Yeah. We're not sure yet. We'll know when we start doing water changes. Yes, so the plan is to put all of these guys in Chrysal 2 uh, because Strawberry is going to be spawning like in the next couple days. And so we're going to put all of her babies in Chrysal 1. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she is not going to spawn in this pool because oh, it's going to be really difficult to get these guys out. But so, better in the pool than on the sand because we can yes, deal with these. them. Yeah. So we have the birthing suite already up and ready for the strawberry. So we're planning on putting her in there tonight, actually. So we also have to get the water ready for her. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at them swimming to the light. They're so big. A lot. Holy moly. Look at them, y'all. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Brooke's down there. <laughs> I'm up here with the siphon. Can you see the siphon? They're not even all Okay, coming. here we go. All right, so we have finished siphoning out the babies from the 10 gallon water pool. And actually, that's what I was most nervous about, but it turned out to not actually be that bad. So we turned out all the lights in the room, made it like super dark in here. And then um, Brooke held the flashlight to the Chrysol, and I was over the top of the tank with our um, siphon. And the babies just like all came to the light, so many babies. And so, I mean, I just stuck the siphon down there and the vacuum of it just took all the babies right into our bucket and um, so we did a full gallon like that and then we poured them in. We went back for um, a second pass and collected a lot more in the same way. We started to like move the flashlight to different parts of the Chrysler that time and anywhere there was like a dip in the um, sand of the not in the Chrysler, sorry, in the 10 gallon tank. And anywhere there was like a little dip in the live sand, some would like congregate in there because there wasn't enough water movement. Um, and so we could, we could just shine the flashlight there and get a whole bunch there too. And so then um, that was like the majority of them, just two times of siphoning, two full gallons. Yep. And we put them in the Chrysler and fed them some food and got them up and running. Um, and then we went back for a third pass in the 10 gallon pool because we started to just see some like swimming in there. Not a ton, just a few. But um, anyways, we didn't want to like leave them in there. So we went and got them out 
with the siphon. That time we left the lights on actually because they were so sparse and most of them were um, like swimming in the middle of the pool, um, the ones that were left. So anyway, so we got those guys and we added them to the Chrysler and like that's it, we got them. We got them all. There definitely were some um, dead ones like <clears throat> on the bottom on the live sand and so we have to go through and clean that really well. Would but. you say this was easier than the last spawn to get in the Chrysler? Yes, because we decided since that pool was cycled, completely cycled, because our pools have been up for months now and the parameters are great, um, we decided to go ahead and just dump the whole bucket with the Zoe right into the Chrysler. Um, so we did like a 50 50 in the Chrysler. We did 50% RO water and 50% cycled tank salt water. water tank water from the um, pools. So that way we don't have like a crash and the Zoe can kind of acclimate to it a little bit easier. The pool water um, in the big build was at 31 salinity, which is lower than what we typically have been doing the Zoe. Um, but since that's what they were spawned in and they had spent about 32 hours in that, uh, we went ahead and kept the 31 salinity in the Chrysler. And over the next couple days, we'll slowly increase it a little bit because we have strawberry and they're probably gonna need a little bit higher salinity. And so we do need to kind of bump it up a little bit. Again, we have no idea what these Zoe are here that were spawned in the pool. So that'll be fine. Hey guys, so it is Brooke here and I'm here alone. So I'm going to go ahead and feed the babies. It is five o'clock. We did feed earlier today, but um, we were working, so we didn't really film it, but we're to our first scheduled feed. So first I'm going to feed Chlorella and we're going to feed a lot more than we did with the last attempt. Put some in the Chrysler. There we go. And next up, look at that, I got it all over me. I'll wash up after this. Next, I'm gonna feed some Gonio Power. So we have some on here. Just gonna put it right in the Chrysler. It's hard to know how much to feed. We might end up overfeeding the first day or underfeeding because we, we've never had this many Zoe in one Chrysler before. Um, and these guys may eat more, so we'll see about that. Next up, we are going to feed Refroids. I'm just gonna do the same thing that I've been doing here. Since we're feeding a lot of foods, I'm not gonna feed a ton of each thing. Um, there'll be plenty of options for them to get food if we just feed a little bit of each. And some of it is going to get stuck to that filter mesh, so you know, just we're gonna have to keep an eye on and kind of play around with the food levels. So now I'm feeding the Instant Baby Brighton Shrimp, which I'm sure you saw a lot in our last vlog. I just take the chopstick, this is a new bottle and I'm going to put quite a bit more than we put for the other babies just because there are so many. Let's see. There we go. Um, so it's just going to take some playing around with to see how much, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera so that you guys can see the meat. All right. I don't know if you can see them eating or not. There's so many in here. <laughs> might be hard to tell if they're eating. So let's see. Okay, I'm sorry that clip isn't very good. There are so many babies in there. It is so difficult for y'all to see them eating. Um, but excitingly, we have purchased a microscope and you know, it may not work. We don't know what kind of, you know, how to work and whatnot. But I want to thank Kathy for donating to our breeding program. That is how we were able to afford the microscope. So thank you so much, Kathy. Your donation is so appreciated. And if anyone else wants to donate um, to our breeding program, I will leave a link down below. All right, guys. So there is day zero and day one of CCS Journaling 4, Mysteriosa. We're so glad that you guys are joining us. Thank you for all of the good lucks, the fingers crossed, the prayers, the encouragement. We really appreciate you guys. We've made a lot of changes um, to the Chrysler and what we're doing this time around, so we're really hopeful. We'll have to do a tour on that in the next vlog because we ran out of time in this one. It'll be pretty long if we add it. Yeah, well, we had to 
hurry up the process. We were videoing it along the way actually, but then this happened and we were like, whoa, <laughs> hurry up, gotta get it finished. Yeah. So anyways, but yeah, we're really hopeful that these things help and uh, thank you guys for all of your suggestions at the close of attempt three. Yes. And so, so yeah, thanks for coming along with us. We're super excited for another chance in this breeding season and also had some more ease mating today. So looks like we're gonna have a very busy summer. Thanks for tagging along guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all our social medias because we have been posting a lot on there. You are missing out if you do not follow our Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We have started TikTok now, so go follow those. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Right. Thank you for watching. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.